What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Mr. Survival. Uh, look at my awesome thing. Probably gonna call it a terrarium, even though I don't have tarantulas in it. I hope I don't get big spiders in here. So that's fine. Anyway, so last episode I did get a bunch of stuff from the caves. And all of that stuff includes some diamond. Let's take a look. See, now I have five diamonds. And here I'm cooking some iron. What's in any of these? Nothing special. Okay. You know what? I could try and make some more bookshelves. I haven't uh, done any of those. Let's take a look at the reeds. Yes, nice and tall. All right, that's it. I have an idea what I can do with this episode. I can actually start some more farming operations in the... Uh, in the terrarium, in my little farmhouse thingy, majigger jigger. So what I'll need is a bunch of seeds and the hoe. I'll take just half of the seeds. I will need... Let's take some pumpkin seeds, these ones. And wheat, sugar canes. Is that all we'll need? I don't think we'll need eggs. Here's sugar canes. Um, is there buckets in here? No, I'll need to take some water. I can get the water from up there. I have water. There's a little pond up there. So let's see. There are... Oh, look, I already have two buckets of water from my little infinite spring. Let's take a little bit of this stone, or I have some stone there. One iron. Snow. Three pumpkins. There's one wheat, two seeds. Let's take these two seeds. Yeah. Oh, bone for bone meal in. That's right. So that is nine bone meal. All right, let's take it in there and see what we'll do. Let's uh, check it out. Because I do need a kind of functional two by two infinite spring kind of deal. Uh, just, uh, it doesn't have to look super good. I just need it so I'll have infinite water there um, and then I did think of maybe putting a little path and hmm I don't know get all these trees out of the way maybe I should get rid of these saplings for now just because I don't want to maybe I don't want to place them there torches away also I'll have to just remember to place them back before it gets dark, because I don't want bad guys spawning in here. Or do I? No, I don't. Or do I? No, I don't. I really don't. I do want to make a chest. So I have a lot of wood. I'll keep some of these logs just in case, but... One, two, one, two, one, two. Let's make a chest up here. That's going to be my mostly farm stuff related chest. So, all that stuff I can put in here, but not right now. I'm going to use it right now. But I was thinking, since this is the front entrance... Hmm. Gravel? I don't really f I don't really like gravel enough to actually make a path out of it, you know what I mean? Gravel is such an annoying... Uh, material. Hold on, let me uh, fix this up. So it looks like I might, I might make my path in this direction, kind of, sort of random. We'll have maybe like trees here, farms there, flowers there. La la la. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be, but all right, let's put gravel in there for the time being. I don't even have enough. We'll replace it if we can think of something better. Which should be really easy to think of something better than gravel because almost anything is better than gravel. Although it does kind of work. Alright, so let's look in the tower. I think I have more gravel actually down in the basement. This is almost like a basement now if I close all this up. Yeah, look at all this gravel. Hmm, I can just pick flowers and plant them again. I don't have to actually... Do I can all right. That's for later too. Don't worry about those flowers now. Let's 
Let's go in there. Finish this path up at the minimal. At first. Whoops. There. A nice little path. And then what we can do is... Uh, I guess we can plant a couple trees. Kind of strategic sort of path right now. So here. Um, here is still good. And I guess here and here. Alright, these are the trees. And I could put some lights on the trees. We will see about that. But okay. Um, let's plan some water stuff for reeds. So I think maybe like a... Thinking, thinking... So... If I put water down like this... There, there can be reeds around these. Where are my buckets at? Here they are. Bucket and a bucket. And let's just put them down on two sides just to see if we can get it to flow nicely. No, we can't. Alright, we'll put more in. Still water, yay! So that means I can take one out? I don't think so. I don't think it works that way. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. How? There we go. And let's place the sugar canes around here. So that won't work. That's okay. This is still not a very big farm for sugar canes, but it's big enough. It'll do. So this tree needs to move to here. Yep. And then maybe, um, yeah, that's good for now. Pumpkins are still, they're growing enough of them under the basement area. So let's collect a couple of flowers. And keep them as flowers so we can plant them around there. Some red ones. Run, run, run. It's getting dark now. Some yellow sheep just casually chilling. Very uh, naturally occurring yellow sheep over there. There's another yellow sheep. Alright, the sun is setting. Maybe it's not a good time to wander out too far. Head back. Plant some of these flowers in there. Get the trees to grow. Maybe do some exploration in the future. Alright, it is getting a bit dark though. I have to mind the darkness. So... All right, let's just put a couple torches down for safety. That that should almost do it right now. Torches, I think. I have an idea for the torches, though. How much wood do I have on me? That might be enough. Yes. Ching. There, that's nice. You have to kind of use your imagination a bit, but it's like a little lamppost or something. Hey. And, um. Yeah, here, I guess. Is that it? Is that all I have? Let's see. Should I bone meal the trees to get them to go big right now? That way, um. I could actually put torches on them. Yes. That is a good idea. Yeah, Ralph, not bad. Not bad, dude. Alright. I might I might just cut some of those trees down and uh Ooh, that is pretty cool. I like those big taller trees better. So I, I can chop these guys down and see if I can get them to grow bigger in the next run. And get more wood in the meantime. And grass, why don't you grow here? Come on. It'll grow. 
It'll grow. Alright, all these saplings, they can whatever, they'll grow. They'll take their time. Um, yeah, and some flowers maybe. Around the base of this tree. I can put more flowers later, I don't have that much. It's starting to look quite nice in here. Like I said, I want to get some glowstone hanging. Alright, I have an idea. Maybe I could make a nether gate in this episode. Let me store a lot of this planty stuff away. Um, gravel I won't need. Bone meal I won't need. Extra wood and buckets. This I'll keep most of this on me. Not all of that, but this can go here. Sticks. I do need to make a couple of extra torches. Okay. Shovel is almost gone. These are okay. I might sh I, I might need another axe real soon. So also around this time there is another sh snapshot update for Minecraft, where there are kittens, little cats. Oh, it's snowing! It's snowing! Yay! Which is oh, it stopped snowing. That is also yay. <laughs> Whatever. I kind of want to see how much snow will affect the roof. There, is, there does appear to be a little bit of snow right there. But I don't think snow is falling on the glass, which is good. Alright. What was I going to do? Nether gate. And before that, I want to make a couple extra picks. Or maybe just one extra pick. So let's get this iron, which is done cooking here. Make, uh, we'll just make one extra pick. Just for now, don't want to make too many. Put the spare iron away. We have a nice bunch of it over here. Um, what do I need to bring to the nether? I, ne I need to make a flint and steel. So flint and one steel. Flint and steel is steel and flint. I always get them wrong. Uh, there we go. And I think I'm just going to put the nether gate on this one floor that has nothing on it yet. Which is... Mm, let's put it one higher. Let's put it up here. Let's put the nether gate right here. So, for la gate le nether, we'll have it facing out here. What we'll need is one, two, and we'll just put corners like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I uh, need to build my way up a little bit. One, two. There we go. Very professional nether gate. And flint action. Touch. There we go. Get rid of the dirt and replace it with something else later. But that's how it's going to be now. I'm going to put away the spare obsidian, but I'm going to keep the flint and steel just in case I have to reignite the nether gate. Because sometimes gas will blow it up and then you're screwed. So, um, eat one thing and let's go take a look. In the nether. Okay, nice. I am in a cave. A nether cave. Um, which is cool, I guess. See if there's any glowstone nearby, because that's that's really the only thing I want from here at the moment. I kind of just remember that I have to go down here with excessive torches. That's how you mark your path. Ho ho ho! Still okay. So this doesn't seem very promising. Let's uh. Alright, on the one hand, this is kind of good because it's a very safe uh, place to enter the nether. But, on the other hand, it is boring as hell. There's nothing to be found. I need to find... There we go. There is stuff. You see any uh, ghasts? Is a zombie pigman? mind this. 
I do like that this is so quick to mine. Very, uh, very convenient. So there doesn't seem to be any glowstone nearby. The nearest batch is probably that one. Unless there's something... Ooh, look, there's... A, there's something right there. Let's check it out. I need to be able to find my way back. That's important. Important. And uh, it could be that I'd have to run back real fast. I've had it before where the zombie pigment just turned on me for no reason. I haven't touched them at all. And then they all come in. Oh yeah, check this out. Nether strongholds. Or at least parts of it. That is freaking awesome. I'm going to have to go over there. That is awesome. I I like this nether. It also looks like... Hmm. I'm just trying to figure out where the most accessible uh, glowstone is. This way up. I'm going to have to remember that. So let's go along here. Explore this a little bit. Don't worry, I won't stay in the... No! <sighs> that nearly... Nearly really screwed myself up there. Alright, I was going to say... I was going to say, don't worry, I won't stay in the nether very long because I don't like the nether. What was that noise? What was that noise? Was that just my imagination? Remember being paranoid again? Alright, well, I'm going to go try and get some of this... Uh, Glowstone here, maybe. Oh, crap. There's a ghast. There's a ghast. There's a ghast. I'm not worried about ghast. I can actually deal with them. That's not a real big problem. I just don't like it when I'm trying to get all this glowstone and then he'll shoot at a tiny little platform that I've built and kill me. <laughs> I'm a ghast. It is nice and easy to get glowstone. Ah, yes. I like getting glowstone because glowstone is a cool material. Glowstone. And I like the sound of breaking glass. Alright. Let's look. 55. That is... Divided by 4 is like... 12 and 40. So that's like... 13... Pieces of glowstone, if I'm not mistaken. And this is the way back. Yes, I can see torches. I'm getting shot at by this ghast. Interesting, though, those ghast, they don't blow up any of this nether rack. They just uh, make an explosion. Oh, I was wrong. I was completely wrong. Yeah, that sucked. Alright, let's go back. I can probably get... No, I can't get my stuff. I dropped too far down. Damn. So, that was my first death. And also, a good time to end the video. This really sucks. I'm going to try and g grab my stuff. And uh, I'll record it, but I think I'll go into the next episode. So, thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.